Hello my friends, it's Cassie and welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today is a special one. It is a collaboration blog hop between Heffy Doodle and Possum Stamps. So I'll have more information as we go along, but let's talk about what we're using first. We have the birthday cupcakes, we have the stamps and the dies by Possum Stamps, and aren't those so super cute? We also have the Quality Hugs stamps and matching dies from Heffy Doodle. And we're gonna turn this into a slider pop-up card. So I've got the slider pop-up die, love using that. We also have the Man Cave paper and some alcohol-friendly cardstock because we're gonna be doing some alcohol marker coloring. So I went ahead and stamped everything out onto that um, alcohol-friendly cardstock. And so now we can go ahead and get started with our coloring and I'll do my best to put all the colors up on the screen for you. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna do more patriotic, a more patriotic birthday card for you today. And I just love this cupcake so darn much. Um, so I just had to use it. <laughs> all the cupcakes in that set are so cute. And of course it does have me wanting some cupcakes now. <laughs> But we're going to go ahead and keep our coloring going. Um, I'm using R24 and I have R29 as my mid-tone. And then I am going to come in with one even darker shade. It's the R89. And we'll just add a little pop of that down there. I love the drama that that uses. Uh, for the longest time, I really did steer away from using very, very dark colors. But I have grown to love the look so much. And I've gotten a little braver with time. So that is what we do. I'm going to start with some B24. That is going to be my my lightest color, and I tend to go lightest to darkest when I am coloring. So then we'll have some B18, and then our darker color is some B29. So as I said before, this is a part of a blog hop. So I'm going to have my blog linked down below in the description box. So you're definitely going to want to go ahead that way because there are going to be some prizes available, and you'll want to hop along. Uh, not only just to see all the beautiful creations, but to get your name in there for a chance to win some prizes. Um, I love it when companies get together and collaborate and and share how you can use their products together. I love using other products with, you know, just mixing and matching. I think that is so much fun. And then it gives you more bang for your buck with your stamps. So we're definitely keeping with that same red, white, and blue theme, and we're not deviating too much from the color, well, not at all really, from the colors that I've used. So we just have that those same reds, those same blues, and then we are gonna bring in some grays, um, but keeping with that same red, white, blue. I'm gonna bring in some gold as well. So once I'm done with our little packages and our little hat, that reminds me of a bomb pop there, that little hat, oh. And, and y'all know what I'm talking about if you're close to my age. <laughs> I love bomb pops. So we are, like I said, we're gonna bring in some gold and here's our gold. That is actually a Y28. And then I bring in an E84. So yeah, it does look gold though. And then I'll go even further once it's all die cut out and I'll use a gold gel pen on it as well. For our little koalas, we're gonna use the, the T tones. And so we've got T3 as our lightest color and then I am going to bring in some T5. I don't go any darker than that. So we just use those two colors for both of our little koalas and they're so cute. There's a lot of little koalas in this stamp set and they're all darling and they all do different things. Um, but I love the coordinating dyes that go along with it and when I get to that, especially for this one that I'm coloring right now, you'll see what I'm talking about, about how great that matching dye is. So here's our T5 and then I'm gonna blend that out with our T3. And then uh, move on to our other little guy. Same sort of process, because they're sitting close to the same way, but um, I thought I would show you both coloring just in case you were curious. And I usually don't have any rhyme or reason as to where my light source is coming from. I just put down shadows where I think they'll look good. And then for the nose, we've got W9. And then we've got some RV52 for our pink. And then now we can bring in our matching dies and tack that down with a little bit of Heffy tape. And then run that through our little mini die cutting machine, our Heffy Doodle mini die cutting machine. That thing never leaves my desk. I have gone through so many plates because I do stamp almost every day. But this is what I was talking about with this little koala. He's so cute. The matching die will cut around his little paws so he can hold things. So he's gonna hold that present 
Is that not adorable? <laughs> and then here's where I bring in that gold gel pen. And then I am going to uh, go ahead and start assembling things. Off camera, I did stamp a little sign, the HB2U. Um, and you'll see that later on. I'll bring that in later. But we'll go ahead and put our little hats on our koalas and we'll glue down our present just so that nothing gets lost and everything is ready to go when we're ready to assemble the card. So now talking about that card, I said it was going to be a slider pop-up and there are two dies to the slider pop-up. To save a little time, I went ahead and die cut that ahead of time, but this is what it looks like. All die cut out and that's from that man cave paper. And then this piece, um, you will have to cut across the top and you'll see why or see what I'm talking about. So that will cut all the way around like that, but then you just have to connect that. And they did the die like this to save money. So that's why you just have to make that one little cut. And I'm all about saving some money. So I'll peel that piece out. Typically it does come out. Um, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it, so we'll just set that aside. Bring in some more heffy tape and I'm gonna go along that first score line and pardon my head, I want to make some grounding here. So I'm just blending on a little bit of Hickory Smoke Distress Ink and my ink pad is dry. <laughs> so I need to get the re-inker, um, but check it out. It's very subtle, which is what I was going for. I just wanted some grounding. And now let's start using those score lines. So we'll fold that one up, fold this one back and fold that one up. That is going to be our channel um, or where the actual opening is. We'll put a little quarter inch score tape on the bottom lip, peel off that release paper, and then we can take this piece and we can attach that down. I'm just kind of inching that forward and then I'll attach it at the very edge there. And that's the piece that's going to move. It's that simple. It is that simple. I'm not, I, I end up not using that piece, so I just set that off to the side, but oh, I love it. All right, you will need, um, or at least this is how I like to do it. I like to create a channel. So I cut quarter inch strips of cardstock and I'll use three of them. A total of six there, but I use three and glue three of them together. Uh, this will just give a little bit more of a channel and make it easier for your, your piece to slide around. And if you end up putting anything on the inside, then it gives a little bit of room, if that makes any sense. Like let's say you want to put a gift card or something in there. It's very easy to stick that inside then. So I'm just using liquid glue to take our three pieces and stick those together and I'll do it for the other three. And then I'll use some quarter inch score tape all ar around those last three edges on the back of our piece. And then I'll peel off that release paper and then I will start sticking down my three thick pieces of cardstock there. And I'll trim off the excess and save that because I'm going to use that on the bottom. But do it on the other side as well. This is just a little bit of insurance. You don't have to do this part. This is just something I like to do. And then peel off the bottom part. But yeah, it's not necessary. I just like doing it. And then trim off the excess of that one. So now this will be ready to adhere down to our card base, which is just a piece of cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So it is the full front, or not full front, but it is the full size of an A2 size card. I've got that opening going, and then I'm gonna very lightly use my pencil because I wanna do some stamping on that. So I'll take one of the other koalas from our Koality Hugs stamp set and ink that up with some Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide ink and stamp that down. And then I'll do the same thing for our sentiment with some candied apple down in the corner. And that just says, wishing you a quality birthday. I'll bring out that quarter inch score tape one more time. And then I will put it all along those channels that I put down. I'll peel off that release paper. And liquid glue would work fine. You just want to make sure you keep it nice and thin so it doesn't ooze out but peeling off that release paper, then we can attach this down very, very carefully to our card base. But before I do that, I do wanna use my eraser to erase those pencil lines, just in case those might show. All right, so now I'm just gonna be, like I said, extremely careful putting this on there because if I try to put it down and it doesn't go right and I try to tear it up, I'm gonna rip it, which is why I typically like liquid glue. 
<laughs> but there you go. The whole thing works. And now we just have to assemble the rest of the card. So that was that one piece I told you I stamped and colored off screen. And I'm going to go ahead and attach our cupcake down. Now doing this, you want to make sure you don't glue over any of your score lines. And you definitely don't want it to go above that one middle score line. Now I'm going to glue down my koalas, making sure that I don't put any glue on them that would make them go beyond the cut line. Same thing with this little guy. So just part of him. And then we have our sentiment that I'm going to trim down. And then I'm going to cut some fishtail banners on those. Super easy. Just cut set into the center and then go from each corner into that center that you cut. It's just a simple way to do a little fishtail. And then I'm going to glue this down also, again, making sure not to go over any score lines or any cut lines. So we'll just attach that down. And I can't stop there. I need to use some embellishments. So I've brought in some Trinity Stamps Golden Glass. Um, just some little gems that are super glittery without the mess of glitter. I love these. And be aware, pardon my head, of where you are putting your gems down. If you do use gems, you want to make sure they don't go in the way of... Uh, anything that would move like that little koala's butt. <laughs> so there you have it. I love this card. I think it turned out so fun. Again, this is part of a blog hop. So head down to my description box where you'll find a link to my blog and then you can hop along. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope you liked this video. And if you did hit that like button and definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I'll see you soon in another video. Bye everybody.